Hi guys, it's Becky at Babes in Hairland. Today we're sharing this beautiful and easy lace braided updo. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, you're going to need to divide the hair into a left and a right section. So make a gentle part in there down the back of the middle of the head, but not so much that you can see the scalp. You just want to divide the hair from a left and a right. And then I've also got a side part up there on the right side that I've branched off and uh, taken a triangular section of hair here to start our lace braid. Now you'll divide the hair into three even sections, across the top one over the middle, and then the bottom one over the middle, the top one over the middle, and then I cross the bottom one over and then I add hair. Now you're only adding hair in a lace braid to the one side and in this case it's the left side or the side closest to her face. So again you're going to add a section of hair. When you cross the top section over you don't add hair. Again cross the bottom section over and add some more hair to that. Now we're just going to speed this up because this is repetitive but you just continue that process all the way down. Now you're gonna work your way down the side of the head and add hair in as much as you can. If you want this to be drapier and looser, keep the braid away from the head as much as possible. Then secure the end with an elastic once you reach the ends. Then back on the right side, you're going to repeat the same process where you're adding hair just to the one side. In this case, it's the right side, which is closest to her face adding hair as you go down until you run out of hair to add and then just create a regular three strand braid with the remaining hair and secure the end with an elastic. Okay, so once you're done with your braids, you can pancake these a bit or whatever you like, but I left things pretty much as they are. Now I'm going to take the left braid and drape it across the back so it wraps around her head over to the right side of her head You'll obviously need bobby pins to secure things in place. And depending on the length of hair you're working with, if it's shorter, it's a little bit easier for this, but it still worked with her hair at this length, which is kind of a medium length. Okay, then you'll take the right braid and kind of drape it over and on top of the left one. And again, this can be a really tight style or a loose drapey style. There isn't a right or wrong way to do this, just lay that braid up on top. So that's the right braid draped up over the left one here on the side and anchor it with bobby pins. So hopefully the bobby pins don't show. Now I'll show you how I combat the longer tail here. Um, I'm just going to lay it up on top of that other braid. And then with that tail, I just fold it back to hide those ends underneath the braid. And then I actually pull the lace braid from the left side up over all of that almost and tuck everything under so it just kind of melds together and you can't really tell where one braid starts and another one stops. And if you pancake things, it uh, also helps hide things. So moving over here to the right side, you are going to repeat the same process. Bobby pin things as needed and then take that tail and flip those ends under, tuck them under the braids so that they aren't poking out and secure that with bobby pins as you need. And again, just kind of pull on things and adjust it as you need. Then back here on the crown, pinch and pull the hair up a little bit so it's not so flat. This is perfect for a spring wedding or any other special occasion. It's simple, but it's beautiful. And if you stay tuned, I've got pictures showing how we dress it up with a couple different accessories, but that's really all there is to it. Here's a final spin and look at this gorgeous updo. You can make things as drapey and loose in the neck as you desire as well. Just depends on the look you're going for. So thanks for watching and please be sure to subscribe if you haven't and give us a thumbs up if you like updos. Let us know what you think and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.